Good morning. How are you all? This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about expected value, standard deviation, and variance of a random variable. So I will share my computer screen with you. A 35-year-old woman purchases a $100,000 life insurance for an annual price of 360. Based on actuarial life table, the probability she will survive this the year is 0.999057. Find the expected value, standard deviation, and variance of the policy for the insurance company. <clears throat> so, solution, probability, that the woman will survive the year. Here is zero point nine 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 zero five seven. Therefore, probability that the woman will not survive will not survive. Survive the year is one minus zero point nine 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 zero five seven, which is equal to use our calculator is one minus point nine 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 zero five seven, which is Zero point zero 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 nine four three. So if the woman does not survive, does not survive the insurance company. company will have to pay $100,000 minus the $360 premium because it collected the premium at the beginning of the year. So its net loss will be Hundred thousand minus three hundred and sixty, and that's ninety nine thousand six hundred and forty. Okay, <clears throat> and its probability of happening, and its probability of happening. Of happening is is zero point zero 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 nine four three okay on the other hand other hand if the woman's 
survives. The year. The company will not will not pay anything. Will not pay anything. But it will gain the annual premium. Again, the annual premium of 360. The probability of this happening, <coughs> the probability of this event happening ability of this event happening is is zero point nine 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 zero five seven. So uh, let's make a table then. Let's put this information in a table. information in a table in a table in a table so let's uh, create some space for ourselves so <clears throat> X value and the probability, corresponding probability. So the company will lose 99,640. That's therefore a minus sign. And the probability of that happening is 0 0.00. .00 zero nine four three okay and the company will gain three hundred and sixty probability of that happening is zero point nine 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 zero five seven so <clears throat> we will put uh, the x value in l1 this will go in l1 and the probability value in l2 so how do we do that in the calculator, TI-84? So let me create some space for myself. Okay. So first we'll do second button. And then we'll press the plus button on top of enter. Then select number four. And then enter and we will get clear all list in our calculator screen and hit enter and we get done okay <clears throat> so second plus four clear all list done then stat one so in l1 we are going to enter minus 99640 this minus sign is next to enter on the left of it minus 99,640 and the other entry is 360 in L1. Okay, minus 99,640 because this is the company is going to lose that amount of money if the woman dies and the company has to pay 100,000 but at the beginning of the year it has collected 360 so the net loss to the company is 100,000 minus 360 which is 99,640 and we have to indicate that with a negative sign because that's a loss to the company. The negative is next to the enter. Okay, now we go to the top of L2 and enter the corresponding probability values. The first one is 0 0.0030943. Then enter and the next one is 0 0.999057 and hit enter. Okay. 
So we have entered these values in the calculator. The next step will be stat button. And then calc button. And then select number one. Stat calc one. So we will get one bad. So zero point. So Okay, so list is uh, so we will have the one where stats on our calculator screen. Where stands for variable. The first list is uh, the first line list is L1. The second line is frequency list. And you should make it L2 because you have entered the frequency, relative frequency or probability in L2. So how do I make it L2? Press the second button, then two button, and it will be automatically L2. Then you bring the cursor on calculate and hit enter. So calculate and hit enter. So the first, oops, I didn't want that. So give me a minute, I'll take care of it. Clear all this, then it is done. So we get one bad stats. Okay. There's a stat help one. One bad stats. First line is list is L1. So list is L1. List is L1. And the uh, second line is frequency list which we will make L2 by first pressing the second button. Second button, this is the second button. And then two, and we get L2. And then we go bring the cursor on calculate. This is put the black rectangle on top of calculate and hit enter. Calculate and then enter. Okay. So the mean, the expected value, this is your expected value. This is the expected value to the life insurance company. Value to the company. To the company. Is uh, E of X is equal to mu average value is equal to X bar is equal to $265.70. So that's the average value to the company. What about the standard deviation in this expected value? Sigma X is equal to, remember that is standard deviation. And that is equal to 3069.5. Okay, so let me <clears throat> create some space and write this information again. So my expected value is equal to X bar is equal to 265.70 and Sigma X standard deviation is equal to 
3069.38. So my variance is sigma x squared is equal to 3069.38. I will type that in the calculator, press the x square button, get the exponent 2 and enter. And we will get, so let's type 3069.38 x square, enter. And the answer is a big number, that's the variance is 9. Four two one zero nine three point five eight. This a four nine four two one. So nine million four hundred twenty one thousand ninety three point five eight. That's your variance. So the mean is two hundred and sixty five point seven zero. The standard deviation is three thousand sixty nine. The variance is a big number. This is your variance. Okay. So I will uh, stop here today. If you have a question or comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, please let your friends know about this video. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And I will see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.